Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more of the Long Dark Interloper series, No Time for BS. So, there was a few things that I had to remember to get. There was a backpack over here that I never ended up getting, and there's also this bathroom that I hadn't gone through. And right here in the bathroom, look at this BS! Oh, a delicious sewing kit, which is exactly what we were looking for. Still a lot of cloth and things in here. I can't remember if I got this water or not. Apparently I did. And we need to check the basement of this place. And then, I'm going to- Man, I hate to go backwards as opposed to going forwards. Man, I want a friggin- I really, really want a can opener. Anyhow, I think I'm gonna go to Signal Hill. The reason why is because, from what I understand, or at least what I have heard, there is sometimes some really good stuff up there. And if we can get any of the big items, the big ticket items that we're looking for, which again is going to be a hacksaw, a hammer, or, uh, well really pretty much at this point we have the sewing kit. So now all we need is a can opener. I would gladly like to try and do that. I'm just gonna give everything a real quick once over. I think everything looks pretty good outside for the most part. Look down here real quick just to make sure we're not missing anything. Sometimes there's stuff up here. I tell you, no matter how much I look though, I always end up missing something. But it looks pretty, it looks picked pretty damn clean. So, let me just check right down here. Okay. Let's go and check the cellar real fast. See if there's anything good there. We're gonna have to repair some of our clothes a little bit. And then I think we're gonna try and hike it on over to Signal Hill while not getting attacked by wildlife. Oh, it is majestic outside. And by majestic, I mean it's negative 19 degrees. Now, there's also a car here that I'm pretty sure we have not gone through yet. Eh, alright. I thought maybe there would- Oh, you know what? We haven't checked in here either. Sometimes there's random things laying about, maybe like a crowbar or something. Not today. Well, it was worth a shot anyhow. Into the basement we go. Let's see if there's anything of value down here. Kind of hard to see. I am glad, though, they've lightened the game up a lot. I mean, compared to where it used to be. When you used to go inside of buildings for a while, it was, like, epically dark. To the point where you couldn't see jack crap. Let me just make sure that there's nothing behind here. No, very good. A lot of me just focusing while I'm looking intently. And probably, oh, I see sweet, delicious matches. Oh, yes. Oh, you certainly will. Oh, God. Every time I see matches. Oh, whetstone. Well, if I ever get a knife, I guess that'll be good. Just check the underside of this, come on, can opener. I don't know why you would keep a can opener in the basement. I guess people could get hungry down here. Maybe we'll get something good inside of one of these lockers that are all locked up. You figure, why would you lock the locker unless there was something good inside, right? Come on, man. Spit out a can opener. Maybe a chocolate bar. Maybe nothing. All right. Well, it's worth a shot. Crates. Tables, man, there is all kinds of wooden objects here for our pleasure. There's also a, oh, I thought there was a book. It's actually nothing. First aid kit, power bar, antibiotics. Why not? I'll take it. Clothing wise, man, I think, I think that this is the best clothing run through I've ever had when it comes to clothing. I say that just as we get a pair of sports socks too. Uh, the sports socks are kind of crap. Oh, the frozen angler. That's interesting. All right. And is there something hidden behind this lovely gem? I don't think so. Uh, oh my god, it's the heavy hammer. Okay, that is a big find. A big find. That is exactly what we need to be able to make uh, makeshift uh, knives and hatchets once we get over to uh, Desolation Point. And, come on, anything in any of these? Not nothing, huh. I have a feeling that that's going to be the most valuable item that we find here at this point. Let me go over here and let me check out our clothing real fast. Okay, first off, these are better, so let's throw these on. Uh, this can be fixed up quite a bit, and I think I may take the time to go do this. Let me check over here in the repair section. One hour to repair this for 40%? Yep, I'll do that all day. Now, we're going to lose some condition here because we're pretty hungry, but again, 
the only time I can really see myself eating is when we are going to go to sleep. So that we can get the most benefit from that. This here... I think I'm going to leave these as is. I'm really hoping to find some work boots at some point. Man, that would be lucky. Ten hours of daylight left. That should be good enough to get us to Signal Hill and get some sleep up there. I imagine by the time we get there, things are going to be pretty damn hectic. Let's go over to here and find out how much wood we're carrying on us. I could definitely use some more tinder and some more wood as well. I don't think there's any cardboard boxes down here. We do have quite a bit of cloth, but I think I'm probably going to rip up some additional cloth as well. Let's, let me see here, an hour and 30 minutes. Oh, this, this hammer actually gives us a little bit of a benefit. The only issue is I don't want to, I don't want to break it down too much. 45 minutes, that's pretty good, or an hour by hand. Let's break one of these down and see how much negative it takes away from our hammer. So our hammer was at 89, okay, it takes 1% away for doing that. That's not that bad at all. That's really good to know. Things are starting to sound pretty damn bad outside. Um, I'm gonna go get one more of these. There we go. And we'll hop down over here and we'll go check it out outside. Actually, I'm gonna do one more, just one more look around. Again, I would hate to like, if they decided to put something maybe on like one of these, um, one of these uh, things over there, something like that. One of the lockers or something, I would hate to miss it. Is that, oh, see, there you go. That's why you double check, man. Quality tools. Totally missed it. Anything laying flush over there? Nope, doesn't look like it. And then nothing else in the corner over there? No. Sometimes there's like little fishing hooks on here. Kind of blends in with the workbench. I like to slide my cursor just kind of over every once in a while. I think that that's it. Can we even smash up? Wow, we can even smash these up nowadays. All right. I'm not going to mess around with my hammer anymore. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to mess it up too bad. Oh, you know what? Let's check under here real fast. That probably wasn't the best way to go about this. Probably should have went around this way. But I just want to make sure. All right, nothing. Really what I would hope to find is some damn food. Um, all right, let's get up out of here. See what it's looking like outside. Hopefully not terrible, not terrible. No blizzard rolling in, please. Okay, no, it's fine. I would really like to see a hacksaw, too. Because, man. When we, what the hell was that? Oh, I thought it was something growling at me. When we come across any kind of uh, frozen deers and stuff in here, the hacksaw would really make getting at them a lot easier. I'm trying to decide how much cloth I want before we go check out Sigil Hill right up that way. See how tired we are, too. Oh, actually, we're pretty damn tired. I need to think about that as well. But I don't really want to stay here another day if I can help it. Pillows we can't get rid of. We can do these curtains for 15 minutes with a little bit more cloth. We're going to be going... Oh man, we're going to be going out and we're going to be pretty tired. I'm going to grab one more curtain here. That'll warm us up all the way. All the way that we can be warmed up. All right, let's see if we can do this. I want to get to Signal Hill. Hopefully the weather hasn't changed in 30 minutes. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Crap. Um, man, we got a storm blowing in now. Why does this always have to happen at the most inopportune damn times, right? See a wolf over there as well. Okay, let me check through this car real quick with our pry bar. See if there's anything good inside. Maybe a can of beans or something. Nada. Go inside of here. What's the temperature like in here? Negative six. Not really that great. Um, I'll put down these visors. You never know. Maybe there's a candy bar in there one day. Nothing inside of the glove box. Let's go ahead and snag a little bit to drink. We do have one single candy bar that we can eat without losing any of the caloric, uh, any of the caloric value. Might there be something under the hood ever? No. And how about the fuel cover? All right, nothing in there either. 
Uh, negative 21 degrees. Should I brave this? <laughs> Probably not. Let's go back inside. Let me think about how I'm going to do this. I'm probably going to go back inside, lay my head down for a little bit here. Maybe eat that candy bar to try and regain some energy. And I guess we'll see where we where we end up from there. Like I said, I'm never going to sprint for the most part. I don't know if it really matters what bed. So plus five degrees Celsius. I'm really just curious to see if the master bed provides a much better benefit. Oh, plus seven. So the master bed is better in every way. Um, all right. Just checking over here real quick, too, since we're in this area now. All right, nada. Okay. Um, take 75 calories. And how many does the candy bar give us? 250, huh? All right, I'm going to sleep for one hour without eating. I don't normally like to do this, especially considering the type of game that we're playing. If it remains kind of crappy outside, I think what we'll do is maybe just look down by the water's edge for some uh, cattail stalks. Let's see what it's like outside here. Maybe it just passed right by us. Maybe it was just like a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of a standing breeze. Okay. Things have leveled out pretty damn well, too. Okay. Let's see if we can make it over to Signal Hill here. And if we get lucky, we may find some really good stuff up there. Like a hacksaw or something. I could also ignore Signal Hill and just go. Man, I could go to the farmstead because we already have a hammer. Which puts us at a massive benefit right now. So now it's just a matter of how quickly we get to Desolation Point. Damn it! You know what? We should probably do this. We should probably do this. We should probably just go straight to the next farmhouse. We can sleep in the car there. And all of our clothing should be good enough to the point where we'll be at a positive inside. Yeah, going up that hill is probably just setting ourselves up for a little bit too much failure. I really want to see what's up there. But, you know, this, this playthrough is <laughs> more about staying alive than... I mean, exploration is obviously the key to this game, but sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and do what's gonna do what's gonna keep you alive for a little bit longer. Let's see here. I'm just seeing if I see any cattail stalks on the water's edge. And man, I don't see crap. We'll go I don't wanna go too far either. I don't wanna wander too much. Oh, I think I see some over there. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll see if we can grab, like, one or two. That'll... Oh, okay. That'll be perfect for us to eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. Three whole cattail stalks. Oh, can you get any more lucky? Grab these right now. You can tell we're already getting cold as well. This is going to give us more tinder. Also. All right, let's keep going here. No cattail stalks over there. Uh, still hanging at negative 11. So, not terrible. Not too bad. Let's keep walking here. We don't have any wind that we're walking against either. So, that's not bad. We are going to want to make absolute sure, though, that we don't set ourselves up for failure by coming across a... a wolf. That, my friends, would be terrible. Six hours of daylight left. We're losing some temperature. I'm seeing it dropping right before my eyes right now. This is the furthest outbuilding from the farm. Um, oh, and it sounds like the wind is starting to pick up as well. That is not what I want to hear or see. Uh, maybe there'll be something over here. Nothing. Man, I was hoping for maybe a box or something. Yep. Winds are picking up. Negative 14 degrees. The storm is definitely moving in. It's like it waited for us. It waited. Until we left. <laughs> Figures, right, guys? Oh, crap. Oh, man. Um. Alright. Again. I typically hate running. 
But right now, this right here is the one time where I would say it is okay. All right, still at negative 14. The reason I say it's okay right now is we're going to lose some status from the amount of calories that we're burning while running. I think. You know, I'm not even 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure if you're already at zero. If you lose more condition by running since you don't have any calories to burn. Oh, it is getting chilly out here. All right, crap. We're at risk for hypothermia. We need to get inside immediately. Oh, wow. It just got crazy outside, guys. Oh, God. Get inside. Get inside, girl. Get inside. We're good. Oh, man. Zero degrees exactly inside. Um, all right. Let's, uh... Let me go inside of this vehicle. Four degrees. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Because inside here, I'm going to see if we can maybe fix some of our clothing and bump us up. Let me see here. Repair this real quick for 30 minutes. Come on, if we can bump us up one more degree, that would be fantastic. Uh, three degrees now. All right, so things are actually getting worse off <laughs> as time goes by. Um, crap. All right, but we have a little bit, we have a little bit more, um, heat now so it won't go down super fast so let's go ahead and check through here real quick guys maybe we'll find something inside of this tool chest come on hacksaw should i could i be so lucky no all right temperature minus two so things are going to start going down luckily though we've got those cattail stalks that's big got some wood in here that we can bust into more quality tools now, we already have a set of tools. Oh, is that a Summit Soda? Oh, man, the gods shine their light of graciousness upon us this day, my friends. We got some scrap metal here, too. Let's check real quick to see if we have... We do have a set of quality tools. All right, so we don't need a second set, especially considering how heavy they are. We got this fire barrel here if we really need it, but I don't think that we're going to right now. All right, let's go upstairs. Maybe we'll find something. Oh, you know what? I want to check this this uh, this truck bed here too. You never know what might be inside the truck bed, man. All right, nothing. Let's go upside the highest part of the farmstead here. Still negative two degrees inside. Not happy about that. Finding some boots up here would be fantastic. Come on, work boots. Come on, uh, can opener, hacksaw, anything. Oh, guys, this is the t this is the stuff, man. This is what I live for. This type of survival game right here. Man, these are all locked. Nothing inside of any of them. Come on. Give us some use for our pry bar. Nothing. All right. Just checking. All right, we're still at numb. Now, every once in a while, you can break down these cardboard boxes and there'll be something behind them. Oh, how about this one here? There's got to be something nice inside of this, right? This big old tool chest? Come on. Anything at all. Zero. Zilch. Checking the old... Man, nothing inside of the tool the tool thing here either. I don't want to fall through the floor. Man, that would... <laughs> that would suck terribly. If I ended up going right through the floor right there. Um, anything past this haystack? Got a bunch of crates here. That I could... What is this? What is this? Emergency stim. All right. It's something. No food. But the emergency stim is definitely something. Alright. Gonna check under here real fast. I don't see anything at all. Under here, nothing either. Checked all of this. Alright, so I think we're done up here. We do have those cardboard boxes, though, that are gonna give us some tinder. There we go. Let me get back inside of here. Three degrees. We're very, very tired. But I'm just making sure that I can sleep in here. Yes, we sure can. Okay, good. That's what I thought. But we also get an odd warmth bonus for sleeping inside of the car. Why would you get a warmth bonus for just for just sleeping in here as opposed to sitting in here? What do we, like, take our jacket off and, like, wrap it around us or something? That's a little strange. 
while we're in here, just because I want to use as much available time as we can, we are going to... Let's harvest this. Because we don't need it. Need to rest soon. Getting pretty damn tired. That's going to give us a little bit more for our, for our uh, cloth stores. Do we have any? Man, I was hoping we had some cured leather or something around, but it doesn't look like we have anything like that. Cured leather would allow us to fix our shoes. Now, the good thing is, if we ever do find some boots, we can break down these shoes at the very least. We've got quite a bit of reclaimed wood. And we have quite a few matches as well. So that's going to help. We've got rosehip tea. And... I don't think we have anything. Oh, we do have quite a few rose hips that we can make more tea out of. At least I'm pretty damn sure. So out of this candy bar, three cattail stalks. That's good. That's going to allow us to get quite a bit of our condition back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and repair this just to kind of keep this in the best possible condition we can. Again, that'll get our... Oh, man, really? Come on. Starting to get pretty dark in here, too. There we go. I'd like to bump this up to... I'd like to bump this up to 4 degrees Celsius. Man, that would be great. Everything else is pretty well... Man. Pretty well fixed up. How much cloth do we have? 25 pieces of cloth. I could do this. That's at 89%. This is at 83%. Let's do this one. One hour. Oh, man. It might get too dark to repair. Okay, good. We managed to repair it. Sweet. Uh, still three degrees. Damn it. Well, I guess we couldn't get that bump. All right. We've got a little bit more time left. Let's go and use our time wisely to bust up some of these, um, these extra cardboard boxes up here. You want to use all available time in Interloper for sure. And you can see, it is starting to get... Oh, 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 I don't want to fall through the ground though. It is starting to get damn, damn dark up here. There we go. Alright, that's good enough. And I guess if we wanted to, we could even bust up... Um, another one of the crates. Let's go over here, grab ourselves a real quick drink. Got four liters of drink, so we've got enough drink for a long, long time. I want to save this soda. Because the soda is just another way for us to get a little bit more, um, condition back. How's our, how's our rest doing? We're getting to the point where we're gonna have to rest soon. But we're not there yet! So that just means I want to just look around one more time. And even if my cursor just gets lucky and hits something, I'll take it, man. Because like I said, man, if I could find a hacksaw, if I could find a damn hacksaw, that would be the best. I don't think so, though. All right. Let's go inside. Have some, uh, have a chocolate bar. And then we're gonna get a little bit of rest and regain some condition. Eat this chocolate bar here. I think I'm gonna go and eat a cattail stalk as well. It put us up to 450, I think. Or, uh, 400, I'm sorry. Alright. Let's do this. So, we can burn... 375. Five hours of sleep. It's gonna rest us up a little bit. Gonna get us some warmth back, which is real nice. And it should improve our condition. Okay, we're up to 70%, guys. That's not bad. Uh, man, that blizzard is still hanging around. That's crazy. Man, I can eat anything. Things I want to do right now. I think I'm gonna break down another box. Just because I can. We're gonna run out of, uh, calories anyway. So there's no reason for me to not break down one of these boxes, especially if, like, maybe there's something hidden behind it, you know what I mean? Let's do this. I'm gonna do this with my hands. There we go. Beat it down! Six more pieces of wood. I don't want to use the hammer if we absolutely don't have to. Alright, back inside. Grab another, uh... I guess we'll grab another two cattail stalks. 
and then we'll rest for I think we I think we can get like four more hours or something. Let's give it a shot, guys. Here we go. Uh, oh man, we got a drink too. That would be terrible if we ended up sleeping and we weren't uh, we weren't fully fully done with our thirst. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Over to the campcraft. Tired, ravenous. All right. Three hundred. Boom. Four hours of darkness. Okay, so the storm has passed, which is really good. That's going to give us the opportunity to uh, look probably into the tractor that's nearby. We're back to starving again, but we're at 75 condition right now. Very good. Now, I think Damn. it's still dark outside. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I know you're hungry, girl, but, uh, well, nothing I can do about that right now. Let me just check under here. Kind of wave my cursor around just to see. There, you never know. There might be something out there. Okay. Let's head out the door. Check the tractor real quick that should be nearby. Hopefully there's no wolves around. And then we're probably going to make a beeline to the stores. If you remember, those, there's those rural stores nearby. What's the temperature outside? Negative 24. Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely god-awful. All right, give me something inside of here. Maybe a soda. Nothing. Zero. Jack crap. All right, what else do we have around here? We've got that ruined building. I do want to check that. Anything on top of here? A little, little plank that allows us to kind of look up here. Nothing. Now, I don't think that the game provides you with any weapons on top of not providing you with any tools. So I imagine there won't be any uh, archery uh, arrows or anything over here, and there are not. Okay, that's pretty much what I had figured. If there's some sticks over here, though, I'll grab them. Stick over there, stick over there. Don't want those. Those are branches. I'm gonna check these two little areas over here real fast. Just to see if I see, like, maybe a box or something. Man, there's a lot of deer. Oh, I hate that so much. There is food all over this place. And nothing we can do about it. Can't eat any of it. Because we can't skin it. <laughs> and we can't chop it up. Let's go check inside of here, though, real quick. You never know. More sticks. Oh, I'll take them, man. I'll take them every time. We could probably even build a fire inside of the, uh, the barn area. Come on, crates. Man, nothing inside the crates either. Sometimes there's a dead guy in here. All right, zero. Nada. So, last thing for us to do is to check the ruined building. Oh, wow. Um. Okay, we are now at risk for hypothermia. Um, all right, I'm going to look over here real quick, and then we're going to get inside. All right, screw it. We're done. We're getting inside. We need to get out of this potential for hypothermia. Hypothermia would be the worst right now. The absolute worst. All right. Get in here. Get inside of this. And we're safe. For now. Four degrees in here. That's odd. It's actually better than... All right. Never mind. I spoke too soon. I was going to say it's four degrees. Now it just freaking went down to three degrees. What a bunch of BS. I don't think that there's anything for us to do in here that would take any amount of time. You can't repair a crowbar, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you can't repair the hammer either. So, all of our equipment is in good enough condition to the point where repairing it isn't going to make a difference, I don't think. Let me see, how long would it take to repair this? 45 minutes, one piece of cloth. I'm going to do it. That'll get some of our numbness up. And that will allow me to make a fire real quick. Did that get us the fourth? Yes, we got another degree Celsius from that. Oh, that's so lucky. So now it's only negative one in here. Oh, okay. We're going to make this real fast. I have 21 matches and a bunch of cattails and tinder plugs. Let's use a stick for this just because I would like to keep my books um, when I can. Yeah, I think I'd like to keep my books. Let's go try this with just some uh, some sticks. 60% potential ability to get this going, guys. Here we go. 
Man, I got to tell you, Hinterland Studios, you have made something special with the interloper mode for real. This mode has me... This will make you a better The Long Dark player. And again, I am by no means the best, great at it, perfect, or, or anything of that nature. But I can already tell you... And in a way, I don't know, maybe it's kind of bad. Because I feel like oh, yeah. any other... There we go. I feel like any other way that I play this game now will feel, um, like cheapened almost? Do you know what I mean? How can we not make more tea? Do I need more rose hips? Maybe you need 30. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and start melting this down. This is gonna get our numbness up too. I'm gonna melt this a little bit and then I'm probably gonna add a couple more pieces of reclaimed wood. Because this is getting a plus six right now. I want that to go up for sure. Maybe a couple of sticks. A little stick. And... I'll do... One more piece. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Boil all this. I'm going to do this one at a time just to kind of keep my eye on this. And keep my eye on everything else too. I don't want us getting too thirsty at any point. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, it's like, I'll do one, 150 for this. Well, that's going to be a lot of water, man. How's our pack doing? Um, yeah, we can take it. It's not like I'm carrying anything else, right? But I almost feel like, yeah, the rest of the game, like if I play on a regular mode, it'll almost be like too easy. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I'm watching my, I'm watching my drink bar too. So don't worry, I'm not going to let us get past parched. This will allow us to take a brand with us as well. So that's going to be good. Okay, we're set. So we've got plenty of drink now because we're about to take a little swig of it anyway. Five liters probably once we're done taking a sip of this. There we go. Oh, wow. She's, she's, man, she sucks it down big time. An hour left on the fire. 16 degrees inside. Sounds like crap. Did I miss a whetstone? That's amazing. I missed that whetstone the entire time. Let me see what the temperature's like outside. Well, it's probably it's probably crap, but let me see what it looks like outside. Maybe the weather's not that bad. Okay, weather's good. So, we're gonna... What was that? What was that? Did you guys hear that? Was that a, was that a wolf or a bear or something? Hold on. Okay, I guess not. I thought there was like a wolf or a bear or something out here. Oh man. Don't don't you get all crappy on me. Do not get crappy on me, freaking oh god. We may have to push through regardless. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. What do you what let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what uh what you're thinking right now of the of the way that we're playing. Should I have gone to Signal Hill? Was it better to just press on because we already got the mallet? Should we have looked at Signal Hill for the hacksaw? Or should we get to Desolation Point as quickly as possible? Because remember, we still have to go through the coastal highway as well. So we have a giant zone that we still have to go through. And really, we still have half of this zone we have to go through. We still have to go through uh, the town with the rural store and everything else. Let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.